This is Two Chicks Talking Flicks, where we review movies, love them or hate them. Someone's got to do it. So enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I am on here to let you guys know a little bit about this episode. We are joined by several other podcasts in this review. Um, What we did was we picked out a movie, we mailed it to Orlando, and they mailed it on to another state, and then another state, and another state, till it came back to us here in Texas. And um, this is going to be a fun episode. I'm sorry that the quality is not as great as uh, we typically have, but when you try to get six people on, it's a little bit more difficult so bear with us. Um, it's easy to hear, just it's not as great of quality as we normally have. Um, so enjoy the show, and please check out our friend's podcast. Um, you can find the list in our show notes, but also we have um, from my mom's garage podcast, Nerd Canon podcast, Comfort Films podcast, And um, two people who weren't able to join us um, but did participate is Cinematic Anarchy Podcast and Life of Pi Podcast. Um, So please check them out. Uh, They're all going to be linked in our show notes and on our socials. So enjoy the show. All right. Well, um, my name is Sarah, and uh, I'm from Two Chicks Talking Flicks. I've actually uh, gotten on with all of you guys. Uh, one way or another, but uh, we basically just go over our favorite films and um, add in nonsense and <laughs> our own stories while we're discussing each film that we re- review. Who's next? I guess I'll go. My name is April, and I'm the second chick of two <laughs> chicks talking quick. Hi, April. <laughs> Hi, April. <laughs> Hello. Hi, April. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we're from a comfort. No, please go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm Beth. Um, I'm one half of Nerd Canon, uh, where my co-host Paul and I um, talk about movies from our childhood and see if they hold up for the next generation. We'll go next. Um, we are John and Georgia from Comfort Films Podcast. Um, basically we talk about movies that we find comforting in one way or another, whether that's a traditional choice, uh, like something warm and fuzzy or like, I don't know, a road rage movie like Mad Max Fury Road, (laughs) 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 Um, just things that we keep watching over and over and why, uh, why we like those movies. Yeah. We've got some pretty wild taste. So you'll have like Moonstruck next to like the thing. (laughs) (laughs) Best combos ever. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. So, my name is Tony, and I'm one half uh, from my mom's garage. And I'm with my co-host. Nick. Uh, I'm the other half of from my mom's garage. <laughs> Speaking to you from my mom's garage. Speaking from his mom's garage. Uh, yeah. Perfect. So, yeah. So, we we more normally do, like, movie reviews and talk random pop cultures and relative to anything else around us, everyday life, and just... Pretty much, yeah. Anything that has to do with uh, our kind of nerd culture, but also anything that might do in the Central Florida area that we're, we're from. So, you know, just kind of giving everybody updates and just kind of giving our, our kind of synopsis on, like, whatever we see out there. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that we were able to get everybody on and to uh, get make this happen. Um I hope everybody enjoyed the movie. I don't, I don't want to know yet if you enjoyed it, but um, basically I had found all these movies at the Dollar Tree and that sounded the most interesting. And I thought this would be really fun to send this to another person and have you guys talk about it. And then we all get on and chat about it. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed their special snacks, mystery boxes that came and um, I had I had a lot of fun, and it was well worth the wait. Yeah, this was a really fun idea. Thanks for inviting me. Um, I, no, I said I'm going to say no. I love the snacks. They were like <laughs> some of them were top. That that she sent me ketchup, which for for me I think is is a staple snack now. Ever since I got that package, 
it, it goes with everything. The Whataburger ketchup. Yeah, I hit nostalgia. <laughs> hit nostalgia button for me because I lived in I lived in Houston for about two years. So H E B and Whataburger and all that stuff. Oh. Yeah, me and Nick almost got in a fist fight to see who's gonna keep the the ketchup after we were using it. <laughs> um, funny. Well, I uh, want to make sure I sent a little part of Texas to you guys, and uh, you know what? What better way than Whataburger ketchup? <laughs> we had such a hard time trying to figure out what to send as far as what represents like where we're from, like Central Florida, or where we're from. Like the only thing that we would have sent that is a staple of where we're from would have been a public sub, but that wouldn't have shipped well. <laughs> but I got popcorn. I mean, I got good stuff. <laughs> we, we definitely like the snacks at my house. Yeah. We got all sour stuff, which was great for me because I love it. Um, and I usually don't buy it for myself because it like burns a hole in your tongue if you have too much. But <laughs> I was like, well, this is my invitation. It just burned a hole in my tongue right now. <laughs> it worked out. And it also worked out because I haven't had Twizzlers in many, many years. <laughs> and I really like them, but I kind of forgot somehow. And Georgia hates them, so yeah. I got the whole bag of Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Sour Patch Kids for the same that reason. Worked out so right. exciting. And nice. also, we got a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame hat, which was cool. And it's now like my favorite hat. So, <laughs> yeah, that fits you perfectly. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. Really awesome. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm from yeah, Buffalo, April. so I had to send mandatory Anchor Bar wing oh. sauce. I couldn't <laughs> send the wings, but I sent the sauce and a Buffalo shot glass because we drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. It's cold. You must. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's to fortify in the weather. Yeah. That's what we'll go with. <laughs> yeah, April was really excited about the San Diego Padres uh, shirt. Oh, good. She nice. was happy with that. And uh, so I was she was really excited about all the spicy Takis. And oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like there was one flavor of Takis I hadn't even seen before. And I was like, mine, <laughs> even though I know Sarah wouldn't even fight it, fight me for it because it's no. spicy. <laughs> <laughs> That's I what, like when spicy. I sent it, I was, I was like, should we send something spicy? And also, should we send Padres? So I'm glad that it worked out. <laughs> you can never tell with sending a sports thing from one part of the country to another. Like, is somebody going to like it, or is they going to want to kill you? <laughs> well, thank goodness you didn't send um, angels or AIDS, because then we would have had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. I'm a ranger stand, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That came, actually, we went down, I went with my brother uh, a few uh, months ago, and we went down to see a Padres game. It was great. And that's where I got the shirt. And, uh, man. San Diego is so good. I, yeah. I love San Diego. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad this is a lot of fun, um, and and you can experience stuff from other places that maybe you hadn't seen or had or tried before. So that's kind of what I was hoping. So, um, does anybody want to discuss or or uh, do like a synopsis of the movie? Hey, there you are. <laughs> I was like, what's this light up here? <laughs> oh, so I do have a camera, but it's covered up. <laughs> yeah, I think mine is too. Yep. <laughs> um I can I did it I didn't do my full I normally do a ton of research for Nerd Cannon, but I didn't do a ton of research, but I did do a little bit. Um, so this was the lighthouse. This was the 20, there was conflicting years of, <laughs> but this is not the 2018 one with, um, Pattinson and Defoe. Pattinson. This was the earlier one. So based on the, loosely, I would say based on the small lighthouse tragedy, they call it. So I ended up going down a rabbit hole reading about the actual lighthouse tragedy and then reading about the Robert Pattinson movie. Did anybody watch that one? We yeah. did. Actually, we went to, a, this is a perk of being in LA. We went to a and a with Willem Dafoe where they showed oh. the movie. So oh. we, when we got this movie and we heard the, I think I read that they were kind of based, both based on that same event. Yeah. It was interesting to see how they handled it differently um, because, yeah, we saw that and then we heard Willem Dafoe talk about the making of it, which was really interesting too. 
Yeah, it's crazy. They talked about how hard it was. Well, I don't want to ruin the other film. It's, <laughs> it, it's, 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 yeah, they, they are similar. There are a lot of similarities. And I couldn't help but think about the Robert Eggers movie when I was watching this. And I was like, oh, is this Defoe right now? I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> Defoe. Okay. But they went right. very different. Like, there's, you know, a similar um, outcome in a certain way, I guess. But it's all, you know, it's about somebody being isolated and kind of losing their mind. But, this one went with much more of like a religious kind of angle. Yes. Um, whereas the Defoe Pattinson movie went way more of like a mental illness, madness kind of angle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that that's the biggest thing that I remember with the Pattinson Defoe movie is they were just absolutely yeah. insane. Like, I mean, we had the scene <laughs> in this lighthouse film where the... <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had the scene in this lighthouse where the guys were drinking and they got wild, but... That, that drinking scene in the Robert Eggers movie is like a thousand times higher. So it was like, oh my well, God. Like, yeah, it's like a trippy, it's like an acid trip movie, that movie. Because there's all kind of really That's weird stuff going on. Like a mermaid washes up and it's like a <laughs> illusion. I don't know, it's a bizarre movie. And it's all shot in black and white, which makes yeah. it even more surreal. Like it's so pretty, but everyone's kind of so nice. more. Oh, yeah, yeah the pictures very nice. look like. Yeah. Uh, my partner watched that one, so after I watched this one, he was telling me all about his recollection of the other one, and we were comparing. So it makes me wonder how much they knew about what went on during the tragedy, because they acted as though the surviving person didn't have a ton of faculties or memory to be able to communicate. But I feel like both stories sound like they were adapted pretty similarly, so I wonder what there is available that led them to kind of mirror each other in that way. Yeah, it's a so good question. Curious. Oh, it's a good point. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what was... I I didn't get to read that part. Like, I don't know what the account ended up being or how lucid that account I mean, was. Right, because presumably they're keeping a ledger. Like, they are in the, you know, yeah. in the film. I'm sure that part is true, but I'm wondering... Wondering how Buck Wild that ledger got. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the film we watched, too, the other thing that was, was much different than the the Eggers film was, you know, we had one of the, the lighthouse keepers go away and then there was still a substantial amount of film left. And yeah. it was just this one actor monologuing. And that yeah, was for a long time. Oh my yeah. gosh. I know. I was like, I was thinking about the script and it's like, you're reading, you're reading two guys in a lighthouse. This guy dies. The next 40 pages are just you talking to yourself. Yeah. Totally yeah, wild. I, know, I mean, for an actor, that's a huge undertaking. It's to a have huge to burden. Kind of, yeah, to yeah. carry that, carry you know. Film, yeah. And did um, it, now, did that guy write it as well, or did I make that up? I don't remember. Okay, I don't, I don't remember either. Point. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, not sure I on that, know. but. We're like 25 minutes in before we find out they're both named Tom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was so confusing. <laughs> I was well, like, and did I, I miss it here? <laughs> right. I always watch with uh, the captions on. So earlier, it was like uh, someone talking off screen. And so I was able to get one name pretty early, but they hadn't said it yet. So yeah. I was, for a good portion of my notes, I was calling them bruises and hats. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hat had to change to tiny scarf because he, he took that hat off. <laughs> um <laughs> So normally I do like uh, trivia and I do like kind of goofs and stuff. So I found a bunch of, because I was calling them hat and bowler hats weren't invented until like several years. The bowler hats weren't around until about 1849. The matchbox that he uses wasn't around until 26. And South Bishop Island wasn't real yet either <laughs> until 19 or 1839. The Fenzel lens wasn't until the 1817. So I thought that was funny because they definitely made a point to put it at the time period. And what I read was the Pattinson one wasn't until they put that at a later time. Yeah, it was like definitely ninety or something. Yeah, it was definitely closer to the 1900s. Yeah, um, just from their clothes and everything, you could kind of tell. Right. So I thought those we, were interesting choices stylistically. Well, <laughs> one thing that uh, looking, yes. Yeah. Sorry, one thing that, that I pointed out to Tony uh, was watching it. Because, uh, and I'm like, there was just a random scene. I looked in the back. The end. Yeah, I just looked in the back. I was like, is that somebody's Christmas cup? 
Because they... <laughs> <laughs> there's one scene towards the end where you just see like a, a, in the back, a like literally in the background there was a cup hanging on the wall but it looked colorful like red and you know green like green and white yeah well, I'm like is that well, like, a Christmas cup Christmas a mug? Mug? it was a mug yeah. <laughs> 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 so. perfect well that's that owl though dude I kept waiting for it to move <laughs> I was 100% sure it was going to start talking to him, like, kind of turn its head and start judging him. Like, yes. That was Chekhov's owl. Like, it never did anything. Like, it should like, have. That would have been better. So somebody got asked, something. like, you know, made that, like, taxidermied that owl and lugged it out to this island to decorate <laughs> this, like, shack. It's a choice. It's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> It was inter- I, I mean, really there's a lot of choices for this movie that were interesting. It's very like it was very interesting because it, it it kind of felt very muted a little bit. Like the way I, the, the note that I wrote for myself, it, it kind of felt like I was watching a Lifetime style movie, but on the History Channel with the bigger budget. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, I love man. that. <laughs> I did feel like the cinematography and lighting was a weird vibe. Yeah, it was. It's clean, like, but it's very. I don't know. It's something about it. Like you can tell they had a budget. So it wasn't like a low budget movie, but it everything was very kind of like muted. Like it was not like I said, like Lifetime movies are felt like I like that where it's it's not that they don't have a budget, but it very, it, the movies always come off very like muted. Like it's not too or like a soap opera. Like the, yes. the it's a weird. I agree with you one hundred percent. You said it better than I said it in my notes, but it looks <laughs> funny to me. Like yeah, and everything was very dark. I will say I really enjoyed um, the very opening sequence when we see the fight happening. We see him praying, and then we see them rowing. And I was like, that's such a very interesting shot to do all three in the same time. I don't see that in a lot of movies. Like, usually you'll see, like, one or two, but you don't generally see three different happenings all going on at the same time. I agree. Did anyone listen to that song while it was happening, though? No. So no. I I um, watch with the caps on, and that gives me, like, lyrics usually to songs as well. Uh, this is just, I went, went down a rabbit hole about this, too. Uh, this is a <laughs> sea shanty um, called Hangin' Johnny. And just for, you know, your enjoyment, the lyrics are along the lines of, I hung me mammy and my Grammy and me whole family. <laughs> oh, I do remember it. Yeah. I, I, it's, and it started at the beginning and I was like, okay, so I feel like this is what we're in for here. This is the tone, like, this is the tone we're going for right now. <laughs> yeah. This is, and you know what? There were substantial hangings that occurred yeah. later. <laughs> so I feel like, okay. Um, but right. it definitely started out and I'm, I'm like, who wrote, why, why is this a song? Like from Quentin? Like, but it's a traditional sea chanty. Yeah, sea so. chanties are like those chanties are usually really sad. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dark and sad. But I guess I just I don't know. We just we we went we hit the ground running with the oh yeah hanging Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about they sad, barely sad, spoke a word pirates. for like a half hour. That what? Yeah, they it's, barely spoke to each other for like the first half hour of the movie. <laughs> yeah, like, it was so such a like it's such a we like such a like tone like. Honestly, it took me a while to watch it because I'm like, I'm like trying to be engaged. And I'm like, is is anything happening? I know. I think they try to fill the tension with the silence, with that negative so. face. That's why they really try to push it on. And and some some moments hit like uh, towards the middle when they when they were started like arguing. So they had like these small moments, so you got to feel it out. But at the beginning, I'm like, like, what are we here for? Like, it, let's it, create some I tension. Agree. With 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 dialogue, it's like they hated each other before they even got there. Oh, and yeah, right. there was a lot of tension. It was, was very though. uncomfortable. Yeah. Like they it did was. a really good job of building discomfort with all that silence, and it kind of like makes you uncomfortable too while you're watching. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I feel like you're yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Oh, just the middle part, like that was to me the most successful part in terms of doing what it was trying to achieve, like the interactions between the two of them when they were drinking and kind of fighting and you get both of their backstories, like that was the most engaging part. And in my notes, like at the end, when it's just our lone Tom, like Thomas for like a long time, tiny scarf, uh, for like a long time, he like, 
you know, for me, I wrote, I can see like what we're trying to do here. I can see all the ingredients of the tension we're trying to build, but like the cake's not rising. Like for me, it, it didn't accomplish what it was setting out to do. I felt like you could see what they were trying to do, but yeah, that's yeah, fair. I mean, I agree. That guy, that guy was the the writer. Actually, we just looked it up to confirm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and John was right; he did write it. So, you know, little the leftover Tom. I guess I would call it. He was like, "How can I make a movie where I'm on screen alone forever?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he achieved he achieved that goal. Was it successful? Hmm, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I feel like it did get kind of dragged out at that point because you know you just have to say what's going to happen here. Like you just have the one leftover guy. You know, people are coming back to get him. What's gonna What's gonna happen? I think here? I wanted more ghostiness. Yeah, more of well, I mean. It's, well, this is a hard shift, but I, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw Pearl, but like, you know, when we see like Pearl, she has these like pages and pages of monologue and they're incredible and we hang on every single thing that she does. You know, she even like throughout the credits, she's still going. I, you know, Mia Goth is incredible and can really, really carry that stuff. And there are people that we see that really have those moments. But for me with this, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't feel as engaged. engaged. Well, yeah. another another movie that I really thought about with this was, was The Shining because mm. you have mm-hmm. like yeah, isolation. These, you know, isolation and there's no there's no escape, you know, they can't go anywhere. Right. And that did bring in these ghosts, you know. So it wasn't just Jack Nicholson who was a very strong actor like monologuing or, you know, you're watching him descend into madness, but you're also seeing him like interact with like these pigments He's interacting with his madness. Like, yeah. 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 Wow. So there was something there. Like, because it's a movie. Like, I feel like in a book, you can have, like, you know, long kind of inner monologue type stuff um, that can be a little bit more successful. But in a film, I think there has to be, like, some action and some dramatization. And I'm not sure. I, th- I felt like I was missing that in the latter part of this. Yeah, yeah. I think he was trying to create an unreliable narrator situation with did he really hang himself or not there at the end, and that could have been done. There's a lot of movies that pull the wool over your eyes, you know, that have a twist ending, and you're like not sure if you can trust it. And I thought they were like trying to get there, and then not that it was a twist, but maybe make well, you question. And I was like, mm. the only twist I'd noticed was that. Um, because obviously he has this whole thing after, you know, um, Tom. Uh, t- uh, <laughs> yes, uh, the older Tom, I don't know, the older Tom uh, hangs, you know, is hanging outside where he literally brings him down. He wraps him up. He deals with the smell and all these different things. He just kept on going through all these different things that he had to deal with his body. Um, and then he built the random coffin out of spare parts that he had. I, I thought was weird because in my head, I'm like, where did he get all the parts to build a coffin? But then at the very he really very, was a like a carpenter or something like well, in like the real time. Well, the thing that got mm-hmm. me was at the very very end of the movie where they showed the outside. Um, Tom older Tom was still hanging. Was just hanging. He wasn't. He wasn't in a box. He wasn't in box pieces. It was hanging off his neck. So that basically made it seem that none of that happened. Like basically, he went crazy the minute Tom oh, no. died because yeah. he. Oh, okay. So he thought that he took him down. He thought he brought him in. He thought. All the crabs and everything right. like, was eating. So basically, he just went crazy the oh, minute. The crabs. Yeah, the crabs was was a little intense. Actually, the thing that got me about this whole movie was I couldn't figure out the timeline. Like how long they been gone? Yeah, because they were starving for a long time. Like they were basically right. ready to die. Like more than half the movie. And I'm like, mm-hmm. how long were they out there for? How long? The months did those take passed place? really quick. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I think that was the only twist I noticed was that. He was just, uh, Tom's body was hanging outside, was just, he was hanging off his neck. And there was no yeah, box, there was no nothing. Yeah. So. My favorite part when I saw this and told Nick about it, it was like, it brought me to the Iron Man, the first Iron Man. He's like, it was Tom with the coffin with a bunch of scraps. Like, he just, <laughs> yeah. he just takes pieces together and he makes the coffin. He's like, where did he get it? Like, he's in the lighthouse. He's not going out for anything. So he had to build it from whatever he and had. I, I mean, I get that he was a carpenter, <laughs> but I just, yeah, yeah like, I was he thinking put about a bunch of scraps together. He's like, like where did you get all the extra wood? <laughs> Yeah, and it was it was it was interesting. So, see, I 
when uh, he was inside, when he brought Tom inside and uh, he's sitting there, I was getting the feeling of um, Weekend at Bernie's. I was like, it's just going to start to Totally. <laughs> oh, my God. He would have tied his arms. He's like, wave, oh at, wave at me. Oh, my God. Like, is anything to make <laughs> it seem like he was still alive? Like, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what that, I feel like you guys need to see the Pattinson the Five Lighthouse now. Oh, because yeah. oh I need oh, no. to. Like, Thank after I watch this kind of, one. <laughs> All right, Things so, do kind of go that direction a little bit. It feels <laughs> like, uh, right. So one of the yeah. best things is that what I do is like after I watch a movie, I usually go to, like to Rotten Tomatoes, other forums that do ratings. And somebody was like, yeah. oh, I thought this was a Ron Panson one. I give it a 3.5. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's How far did they get in thing. before they realized they were wrong? <laughs> I like, don't know. <laughs> there's like two people in the whole movie. I know. I was, like, I was just waiting for Ron Panson to just show up. They didn't even try to rename it, like, anything different, like... One word! <laughs> yeah. I know, and it was only, like, three years different, two or three years between those two, so... But, I mean, I assume this is more of, like, an indie-type thing. I had never heard of this before. Had no. anybody else ever heard of this one? No. 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 You know how long it's been? It's even... hard, hard to find, because I feel like every time I look it up, it would just come out with the Robert Pattinson one. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be so yeah. sick. Like, 2016. Like, the font they yeah. Mm-hmm. Or Even, ha- like, the font they used on the cover of the DVD looks similar. So, I yeah. feel like, yeah, they're very, very similar. So, talking about the DVD cover, was anybody sold? When I first got it, I was like, oh, my God, it's a horror movie. And I was like, it was, and <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, so it, too, it was yeah. like, I'm waiting for, like, the, the guy that's going to be hung, come back up and slash Absolutely. somebody. And you're like, no, Absolutely. it's not it. It's not that at all. See, I thought it was, like, a cannibalism. It was, like, yeah. meter eat or be eaten that would have yeah. been interesting though because think about it, they're there they're starving they're you know that he's been there forever he can't eat anything because they, everything they're running out of supplies so yeah him just like ultimately eating the body of this guy he that killed what? was <laughs> would have been super dramatic and interesting but no it wasn't that at all i like, mean right. he made it as good as he did the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i heard they were so good yeah, I did go through so many emotions where I'm like, oh, it's aliens. Oh, it's zombies. Oh, they're mer people. I, I go, April, it is not that kind of movie. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it's a horror movie because I did think, oh, it's ghosts. You know, and then at yeah. the end, like I thought there was a demon that was about to come up <laughs> from the basement to like take his soul. Like I just, uh, I did okay. So in the middle part for me, that's when it turned into a comedy. Like it was just so <laughs> funny. I could not stop laughing. And then when his arm just kept hitting the window, I just I was just laughing. It was mm. so funny. I felt like they were trying to do Edgar Allan Poe in that one. Like they were yes. just, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. the yeah. rave, you know, knocking on the but, door. <laughs> or the telltale, the telltale heart. heart. Yeah. Oh, telltale. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah. So I was yeah, like. The weird part is all of that, like from what I read, all of that actually happened. He built a shitty coffin, put it outside, it broke, he was hanging there. I'm like, so that all happened. That's like a lot of good source material. I feel like we could have really done a little more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was going on? Oh, man. So the way it, now it gets me because I mean, is the twist part that I thought I saw was basically just they shot the wrong scene? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering uh, they were just like they, they, they messed up on the edit yeah I also felt like the death was biz- how okay I mean he like goes flying over the side and he magically is in a noose like that like <laughs> how does one's neck get tangled so many times that they are then hanging from it and how is the solution like pulling wing- on the pulling on to pull like to pull him up to- <laughs> 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 Yeah, let me pull this thing around your neck and pull, <laughs> and pull you up. Well, yeah, I like they didn't, let me not cut it. Ooh. Let me just pull. <laughs> mm. Well, you have to remember, like in real life, it would be storming. It would be dark, right? So he may not actually have seen like what the rope was holding. Oh, wow. part of him. Yeah, and I don't feel like that's the thing that killed him. I mean, they're yeah. indicating he like fell and kind of strangled, but. The whole thing, I just don't understand how that happens with a rope where we are accidentally hanging. Like, mm-hmm. It's a, when we were yelling moments before without with nary a rope necklace. <laughs> yeah, and then he was like, and and then like a few scenes later, 
you see him light the lighthouse by himself. So why did you yes. need the other dude's help? Girl, I said the same thing. <laughs> to my cat. Yeah, he was begging for his help. And I'm like, wait, you did it by yourself. Like, you need to turn on the candle? Like, and he mentioned, the right. thing is, it's not like they were like picked randomly to do this. And, you know, these guys were talking about like, this is their life, like career. Like, their life's work. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. one guy said, I was the son of this and the son, like basically he's a, like a fourth generation lighthouse keeper. And I'm ahead. I'm like, so they should be able to operate that like by themselves. And he even said, uh, well, the time that went crazy even said at one point, he goes that he had run one by himself because the other guy had a fever. So you're right. Yeah, uh, but some of those guys didn't turn out good. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that because leftover Tom had all that guilt already from right. like his major error there that killed all these people. And then, like, you know, that just compound. It is. It is and it isn't. But, like, that's, (laughs) I mean, he's like, I rang that for 15 hours and I fell asleep on my feet. Like, I would have. Yeah, I I mean, it happened. Wouldn't have taken me 15 hours to fall asleep. (laughs) And that (laughs) fell. Why couldn't they have gotten a longer cord? Okay. Could have been inside. He could have been inside. Yes. Like, why not he just? Motion bird. He, he could have just stayed outside the window, just like open the window with their bell, like. Ding. <laughs> Seems like a poor design. It's yeah, I mean, I feel like that you have to ring the bell. Why do you have to stand out there in it? Yeah, and I mean, like, he was who's carrying... going to hear that bell? Yeah, no one. No, no one. I mean, he, it's it's like this goes back to like a time when there weren't like labor standards or something. So it's not like <laughs> There's no OSHA. Yeah. Are you, they can't be like, all right, well, you've been working four hours. You have to take a 15 minute break. <laughs> right. Yeah. And well, also I, having enough rations for exactly the amount of time you're going to be there is ridiculous. Poor it planning. Is because, like, how often does that happen where there's a storm and you can't? That seems like it would happen all the time. Yeah. The whole point of the lighthouse is because there are all these storms and things that happen there. Right. <laughs> Seems I, like they should have thought that through a little better. I love how the emergency rations is liquor and a gun. That sounds like a <laughs> <laughs> That's not no, that's not an emergency uh, rations. That's a that's an easy exit. <laughs> yeah, right, right. He's like, I got it's party time. Let's go. Let's go. All I know is that if this was two women, it wouldn't have taken thirty days for them to talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> about, right. Even if so they hated each other. So quick. Yeah. Oh God! So I kept my new best friend. <laughs> I right. kept saying that I could totally do this job. Like I would be okay in the silence, you know, away from technology. Like I felt like I was promised. I'm sorry. I felt I was calm until he went crazy. You know, I'm like, yeah, this is paradise. This is a great place. I wouldn't mind <laughs> yeah, for agree. thirty days. This is a dream for me. Like a uh, little vacay. Like, yeah. just set me up. Make sure I have enough books to read. I'm cool for the, no, the you month. you only get one tiny Bible. And that, <laughs> well, that made my In that case, crazy. I'm in trouble. <laughs> that one tiny Bible in the dark, I was like, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, they need more activities. Yeah, more activities. Yeah, like an activities director. Can I crochet? Out. Like, can I? Checkers. I yeah. Right, anything. <laughs> and what was anything. it like? And the funny thing is, what was it that he was going to get in trouble because he was fishing? Like, you can't leave the house. Fishing like... on the ground? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah like, was... I didn't get that either. It was so weird. It was like he went down to fish and they were like, you know, you get in trouble if you leave the lighthouse. I'm like, what? Like, uh, that's was... who's in trouble by who? I don't the know. Lighthouse police? Like... <laughs> 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 was... No, I know. <laughs> so it's just so funny. It's like, wait, are we supposed to like cover each other? Just go. You know, like all you gotta do is make sure the light doesn't go out. Like we can do that. You can do that by staying there. You coming here to tell me is probably more trouble. Right. I was just also, wondering. I felt the design was so weird because I want to be able to like be in bed but be able to like peek. We can't figure out like a mirror system or like a <laughs> hole somewhere where I can peek and see that it's still on all the time. <laughs> they really just dead ass went to bed and left it. Like <laughs> seems like a bad. Pl- all of this seems like a bad plan to me. I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah, they really should have slept like on opposite like schedule yeah you know and that way they wouldn't get on each other's nerves right i don't know i thought that was a weird i thought a lot of it like i'm like maybe there's something i'm missing i don't know a lot about the 1900s maritime rules i will allow but (laughs) 
felt like. <laughs> yeah, I felt like there was a lot of bad designs in this, but. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I, so I, I, I don't know. I, I, I thought about it. I don't know if I would like that that job. It just feels like, especially all the pressure, like, because uh, obviously he, like he was, like you said, he was there for 15 hours. He's covering for the other guy who's basically dying down there. And like, you know, oh yeah, he fell asleep naturally because I mean, they expect him to like, I mean, I don't know how long he was out there for. Yeah. Like, you know, where they're human. So it it sucks that it happened, but it made it, when they said that he was falling asleep, they made it seem like he was just like lazy. Like, (laughs) Mm -hmm. right. Like, oh, you were just lazy. Just fell asleep, like random. Like, no, he was working like basically nonstop. And then he passes out and something tragic happens. But I love how they just, they put it on him and everybody judges him for it. Like he, he was more worried about, them blaming him for uh, other Tom's death than yeah. the fact that he actually died. It's a real toxic work environment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, terrible. Uh, well, I mean, that's just, that was because of the prior guilt, right? right? So he had that guilt over what happened before. So now he's like right. compounding with more guilt because this right. other guy died. And now he's like, if he fails to like stay awake and run the light, then some other people could die. Like this guy was not really built for this kind of responsibility at no, this no, point. Like no, he needed, no. he needed some serious therapy before he could go back to a job right. like this. Yeah, I'm like, this and is I had read that. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the real life, the real life Tom's had fought before they ended up on the island together. So he was convinced everyone was going to think he killed, killed him. him. So he was like, "Well, if I throw the body in the water, then everyone will really think." that I killed him. So I'm going to keep this cord <laughs> hanging from the, the great judgment. Yeah. <laughs> Did anybody think it was going to turn to like a broke back situation? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I, 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 I did. I did. I <laughs> hope every situation is going to turn into a broke back situation. <laughs> so I was a little bummed. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh, maybe they're going to fall in love somehow. Yeah, because <laughs> even, even at the... Uh, the DVD cover it says, uh, isolation, fear, and madness saves our souls. So I was like, oh, okay. I think that's where they're going to oh. go with it. The madness yeah. of love? Yes. Oh, my of gosh. Crazy. Absolutely. <laughs> if you can't confess your love in a tiny lighthouse after a month of a storm, mm. where can you? Yeah. Oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> Well, that would have added a new layer of tragedy to the death. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that would have been so sad. He killed his lover. Very no. Shakespearean. It would, have def- it would have definitely turned into yeah. a, uh, oh. a, a weekend at Bernie situation, I felt like. If it was oh, yeah. Like, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not. He's not. Or the with a corpse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like oh. our ideas better than the actual movie. I yeah, think. we probably yeah. should write one. We should have written those. <laughs> <laughs> it did make me want to write a movie that's super serious, and then at the end, it's aliens. You know, yeah. like they just randomly get abducted. <laughs> oh, that's great. That feels like a Jordan Peele kind of a thing. Should <laughs> yeah. write that up and send it to Jordan Peele. I was gonna say that definitely happened in the Stephen King book. <laughs> yeah. Like a like they're in the light room, but they're like there's literally nothing beyond like like beyond the like the eye scope. There's like nothing. There's like they're just an open that like they're just waiting for ships to come by. There's and there's never a ship ever, like a super very dystopian twilight type thing. <laughs> yeah. That's another thought I had when um there was that flashback with the shadows of the past people that died and I thought mm-hmm. it was a zombie movie. I was like, dude, what if they are working so hard and taking this job so seriously and then it ends up being like a zombie apocalypse it's and apocalypse. like everybody's dead and they have they're the last two souls alive and they oh, don't no. even go away and they have no idea that would have been awesome and like we really don't leave them a boat like they don't <laughs> nothing right <laughs> yikes oh yikes, man yikes, yikes. well and they said that they had to send word and I was like how how are you right. send word <laughs> You're going to message in a bottle? They needed some some pigeons. They're going to send that out. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) They're just going to somehow magically find that special bottle. I mean, it could be decades before they find (laughs) that. That's 
that's what I was waiting for him to say. It's like, oh, he threw that bottle. He saved us. He's like, you yeah. know, they didn't find that message in the bottle until 20 years later, right? <laughs> yeah. Man, but nobody cared. Nobody even cared about those guys. Like, I'm just, like I said, the time zone just got me because I'm like, you would think they, like, somebody would come, come to them. I know they said the storm, but still, it was like, I don't know. I just felt like they would. Somebody would. They would have sent a message or like a boat with nobody in it, just full of <laughs> supplies. Supplies. <laughs> Hopefully, they reach them. It's something. Is like well, just... if, if the storm is that bad and no one can be out to come and do their next thirty days, then why the hell do they have to keep ringing the bell? Because no one. That's no what I was thinking. Be out there. <laughs> why would anybody be out there in that storm? Yeah. So what was the um, point of that? I I was wondering that too. Um, that's wild. Mm-hmm. And they have yeah, and the people who showed water. up were really apathetic. Yeah, <laughs> those oh guys. They, they were like, "You're good." App, app, yes, you're fine. It's like, oh, it's a normal <laughs> Tuesday. We're just bringing in the other two guys. Let's go. Come on, you good, Tom? Let's go, Tom. <laughs> Whoa, there is uh, a corpse, and then they had to like unstring it and like bring it back. Whoa, Ew. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Tom, you're great. fine. Tom, Tom you're, fine. You're, you're Tom. It's okay, Tom. Tom, it's we okay. got you. It's he cool. is not dying. <laughs> yeah. no. Tom, we, we got you your next your next not. assignment. That's what I thought. <laughs> I thought they were going to be like, Yo, Tom, you ready for your next assignment? You're at the other, you're at the other lighthouse. You're um, late <laughs> for uh, the other one. <laughs> yeah, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> we'll accept it this time, but <laughs> we'll accept it. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll treat this as a learning <laughs> experience. We'll, we'll Just this, go on, on your sh- part. Yeah. <laughs> We'll let you off with a warning oh. this time. Oh <laughs> next this, time, write it Next out. time is an official write-up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to charge for those extra They docked his pay. We're going to pay you on a positive discipline step. <laughs> yeah. Next time you will get fi- 50 pounds of rice, you only get 30. Okay? So relax. <laughs> did they not have a boat like to leave, though? No. They took the boat with them. No. That's hard. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. That's well, no that's kind the of whole point. Like, they... Oh, I no, guess, no. I mean, I guess they had desertion problems, maybe. That's why they instituted this policy. I have no, I mean, like. Well, and I don't think a boat would have survived on those, like, rocky, like, I think that's probably underwater at some part of the day. Yeah. Kind of yeah. how they were. Let's, I don't know. What do I know? Like, let's talk about this storm. How can it storm for so many days in a row? Like, do they have El Nino over there? That's like, <laughs> what is the weather pattern? <laughs> I know. Like. Even at the worst, like if we have storms, we have a few days of lull between them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they were, they we also were. don't know how many days it was once that all began because it started getting real fuzzy there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they went from fog. It, they to portrayed it to... like it was weeks, but who knows? Because they would have starved to death by then. That's what I said. They didn't yeah. starve. They had water. Like I mean, they they the because he broke out the emergency exit package. <laughs> You know, yeah, pretty you can't live on green alcohol alone. Yeah, it was like two days in. He's like, "Yeah, we're out of rations. <laughs> we're gonna die. Let's do this." Like, what? he's like, "You, you, you just met, you just me eggs and rice for one day. Like, we're not out of rations." So he was like, "They lasted pretty long, considering." So I'm like, "That's why." And he was illegally fishing, so he should have that should have been supplementing. Yeah, the rations. Yeah. Not only that, but they said they were running out of water. There's rainwater. <laughs> like. <laughs> Sorry, just open your mouth outside. Yeah, or, or uh, <laughs> distill it with hot water. Heat it up. Right. You know what's so crazy? It was, was collecting the water anyways because it was coming through the flats in the river. Yeah. <laughs> or literally. <laughs> so was it an island that gets flooded a lot? Because I just looked at the, when I was looking at the photo of the cover, it looked like it, it's because a lighthouse, I always picture this building, you know, that reaches from the from the floor all the way up. But it when you look at the picture of the whatever, it's like these huge poles holding a structure. Yeah, up. yeah, that was misleading because that was not the lighthouse. Oh, that's well, that's not a lighthouse that we know, but that was this one because they only had one, two floors: the bottom, the floor they yeah. live in, and then the lighthouse on top. So, and everything that looked kind of like read, on the ground. So, looked like a buoy or something. Yeah, I read that picture. that was what it really looked like, and it was a certain type where they had these nine huge whatever um, whatever kind of tree, and that was the base of all of it. They've since, like, added more, but it was, like, a certain style. So that big, like, tower, solid tower, mm-hmm. that, like, looking thing you're all used to seeing isn't what this one was. Okay, because I'm It like, looks like that now, though. 
Yeah, like you said, it looked like it's a buoy. Amazing. And can you imagine, like, not mm-hmm. only are you stuck in that room, you're you know you can't even walk around the island, or because it like gets flooded all the time or something. So. Well, and you have the two guys sitting at the table straight across from each other. It's like they're always in opposition. Oh. I mean, we start off with this oh, boxing yeah. match, so it's like we got these two guys that are furious and are beating each other up, and also somehow kind of reminded me of like the guy Richie Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, yeah. And then like you know we came like back to the we get into the lighthouse, and these guys are always stuck together and it, it, it's just like they're always face to face i don't know they, I, I just felt like the tension never broke it was almost like some like animal in the wild like if you saw the other one you had to fight mm. yeah the tension level was kind of static like you're, you you kind of need it to rise and fall like and that didn't really happen yeah like they, <laughs> they should have warmed up to each other and then got into arguments back and forth <laughs> right but only I made out, guys obviously. Could, yeah. <laughs> could beat each other up. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> but only two guys could beat each other up and then drink together and laugh and, and sing <laughs> shanties. Right. <laughs> that again, that would not happen with girls. Like, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they would eventually be doing a makeover, but yeah. <laughs> I think this would have been better if there was like just a scene of the guys cuddling. And then it would have like got us. <laughs> yeah, <warmed up>. okay. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm down with the broke back theme. I think we needed it. Yeah. I think we needed it to go down. And it should you be know, called I, Tom and Tom. Know, that would yeah. definitely yeah. been that would have been definitely a twist at the end of that movie. Like, oh, in the little okay. head. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been like Could you know how the end credit imagine? when it goes. Tom has never been the same after, but still holds a picture of Tom in his back pocket. <laughs> Like, yes. <laughs> oh, he's got a shirt on under his other shirt. Could you imagine if he was cradling the dead body <gasps> and those guys oh. came and found them? Oh, what the hell happened? Yikes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, I guess they didn't hate each other. I don't know. I know. Mm. They, they made how much they love each other. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> love hate relationship. Why can't I quit you? I can't quit you. <laughs> no. no. We just needed some fireworks, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm usually not a newer movie unless there's some smooching. <laughs> there were magic, and there wasn't either of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting so enough, I think of- this movie did win an award, if I read it correctly. Really? Oh. Yeah. Yes, it won two awards, actually. Uh, the BAFTA for special um, visual effects and graphics. Oh. And for the Camerathan Bay Film Festival in the UK for Best Feature Film. Hmm. You know, honestly, I wonder. I really would love to. I want to see what, who they competed against. No, but I want to know what the, what, <laughs> what what the people from this movie felt about the other lighthouse that actually got like all these all like, these accolades, all these awards, whatever. Like all these, right. for Grammys and yeah, like you're like Oscars, whatever. But well, we we made that same exact movie. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> but there was more drinking. Oh gosh, <laughs> more there was more one hundred percent more Willem Dafoe. There you yeah. go. That's what you need in a movie, right? Yeah, <laughs> more Will, no Toms, just Wills. <laughs> Less Irish well, that, accent. Yeah, the yeah. other movie. Well, they had weird, weird. weird accent, so. Yeah, they right? sounded like. Uh, I, well, I think they sounded like old New Englandy kind of like grizzled yeah. fisherman type or something. Yeah. Yeah, looked I like mean, a captain, like a yeah, you can yeah see him like on a fishing like, boat captain. Yeah, he looked like he just finished casting Moby Dick. And then <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Hebron, Hebron. Yeah. <laughs> also madness at the sea and the mm. very phallic. <laughs> yeah, true. So, yeah, so that was that was one of the things that I wanted to play. Like, why would you eat your podcast host? <laughs> 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 That's what I thought the movie was going to. Would you eat your podcast host if you were in that situation? Uh, if I wait, wait, side, side question: Would I have the water burger ketchup? Oh gosh! <laughs> or oh, uh, then definitely if yes. You can eat it all already. Medium rare with some ketchup, yes. <laughs> Nice yes, I would eat you, Sarah, because I know that's what you would want. 
<laughs> I don't know if that's what I would want. <laughs> that's what I'm going to tell everybody. Make sure you delete that. We don't need any evidence. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like I don't I, think I, I could eat you. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I don't think I, I could eat you either. No. <laughs> no, I'd be too sad. I had, I had a burger that was just a little too pink for me the other day, and Ooh. I could barely eat that. So I don't think I would eat April. <laughs> Paul's not here to speak up for himself, and I would like to think that I wouldn't, but I get real hangry. So <laughs> I would like to think that I would. We would both be like, no, you, no, you, no, you, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there was another part when he was dragging Tom's body back upstairs, and I'm like, and he was struggling, and I'm like, oh, he's going to start chopping him up. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> At that too. <laughs> Easier okay, to move. Why so much moving of the of the heavy body and the like? Moving them up, moving them down, put them in a box, putting them like outside. I know. I felt like a, no, right, I'm, I'm so sorry, but you go outside now. Bye. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, outside now. A, like a training montage at moments. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was like. A lot yeah, of you see the hammer hitting the wood. He's lifting the the the, the plow. Uh, 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 tiger. The and, uh, now that's just sounding like that's just sounding like Swiss Army man. Oh, oh yes. my yes. god! That's starting to sound like Swiss Army man. I mean, to be fair, he has nothing else to do. Totally, my point is well I, I, I need to grow a six pack by the end, by the end of my time. tour. I don't need he has no other activity. To talk to imaginary people, like I could do it on my own. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I agree with that. <laughs> Wild. What I was wondering, I what was he gonna do with the box? Like, what was he trying to wheel it? Like, he was trying to lower it down to where to fit him in it? I guess. No, no, he put him they in the box. They had like shelves. They had like shelves around the outside, like really, as, like mini balconies. I think. For like extra storage, that's oh. what I think was the intention. <laughs> but like, it's well, God forbid hard. you, God forbid you put extra food in that storage. <laughs> right? Oh my God! No, just alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Safety first. <laughs> after 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 that's all I gotta say. They're like, let's yeah. put alcohol. Let's put a gun. What's that? Problem solved. Problem the funny is, is that the first time knew exactly like, okay, I'm gonna drink this and kill myself. And I'm like, right. and that's exactly what he went he, to do. He was very chill with that plan. <laughs> he was not mad that he died. Yeah, I think he came with yeah. that with that mindset. He's like, I'm just gonna off myself with the guy that they, I don't they disagree. Me. Mm-hmm. He, came, he was like, he was he was so ready for that before he even got there. No, but I, I in my head, I was just like thinking to myself, he saved him for what? Like, <laughs> he saved him. Yeah, saved your life. <laughs> Literally, the next like the next scene is like he hangs out. So like, oh, okay. <laughs> You didn't, like, so now it's even worse because now it looks like you're suspicious of something. <laughs> like you did something and so opposed to him just, you know, offing himself. It was, it was, it was an interesting thing with bad judgment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he would have ever killed himself, though. You think he would have missed either way? Nobody, mm-hmm. like, let it. He kind of, like, let it. <laughs> which time are, wait, which time are we talking about? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm at the time that, the, the time that uh, I tried to shoot himself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. April always uh, associates herself with one of the characters, and you know she was very much old Tom, and uh, <laughs> she said that made me younger Thomas. And uh, when he died, she was like, "You killed me." I was like, "I didn't do anything." <laughs> like, you killed me, and I was like, "He wanted to die. I saved you from killing yourself." <laughs> so, that's yeah. crazy. You had very range of emotions. <laughs> there. So, do we have anything else on this movie? Uh, that we came up with a better idea of the movie. We should do the Lighthouse Part Two then. I feel Lighthouse, yeah. Lighthouse Mountain. Oh my God. Lighthouse Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Tagline: We light up your life. I would watch that. <laughs> you no, no, no. Or you zombie are. lighthouse. I like zombie <laughs> alien. Yeah. Alien apocalypse lighthouse. I feel that all these ideas go into one. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like <laughs> anthology series. <laughs> Perfect. I'm in. Maybe Guillermo del Toro is free. Oh, we yes. need to get the Wayne's brothers and have them uh, do like a, white, a lighthouse booth. A parody. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, great. 
to get to implement all our, of our ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had way more fun talking about it with y'all than I, I did watching it with my cat. <laughs> <laughs> I actually enjoyed it more. I, I wasn't quite sure. I never heard of this movie. I didn't. Like it said, based on a real story, but who knows if that's true. Now I know that's true. Yeah. Um, and I had no idea there was a new one with Robert Pattinson. Because <laughs> I probably would have picked that, honestly, <laughs> if I had known. Um but I'm glad you guys indulged and, and enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah it looks thanks fun. for organizing this. Yeah, yeah, this is fun. Yeah, thank you. We have to do this again. Uh, yeah, and, and hopefully that will pick up the pace a little. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad. I was like, man, they had this. You guys watched this movie a really long time ago. So. Oh, yeah. It stayed with me. Yeah, I mean, we were second to last. And I still feel like it was a long time ago. So some of you guys must have watched it ages ago. And I think we watched it back in June, I think it was. Yeah, it was been a while. Wow. But we found it on Tubi. Yeah, we found, we found it, it on, on Tubi. Tubi. Yeah, I watched it on Tubi. Oh. I, it, was, it was even better with commercials because well, you got to actually enjoy something. Technically, I think we... <laughs> yeah. no, technically, no, technically, we had to... Because uh, uh, when we started to sit down, okay, we're going to watch it. We sat down and realized... Oh yeah, I don't we, have a DVD player. You don't have a DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> like it took us to, like to the last minute. We we're sitting on the watch. We're like, wait a minute. We're you were like, go excited. We got the package. And I'm like, we're we gonna watch a madhouse. I'm like, oh wait, I don't have a DVD player. Like we literally sat down and everything. We're like, wait a minute, how do we watch this? Like, <laughs> I was like, is there a digital copy inside? So it's it's funny because I, I did the same thing with because uh, I don't know about you guys, but I noticed a lot of movies are disappearing. Uh, especially older movies, because you know if they don't, if a streaming network doesn't pay for it, then it just disappears. So my niece, yeah. uh, she wants to watch Revenge of the Nerds, so we could not find it anywhere. So I ended up start having to buy the DVD, the Blu-ray, <laughs> and everything. And I'm like, okay, we got it. We're gonna sit down and watch. It. And then I realized, wait a minute, I don't have one. I don't. Have, <laughs> I don't have a player. Like so, that's one thing. I have to get. That's what we. I remembered that we could put it in the, you know. Yes, but. <laughs> but one problem we're experiencing is we really want to watch Spice World, oh. and we cannot find a digital copy Uh-oh. nor a DVD of it. What? That's, oh, that's reasonably must be priced. We got it. If that. you there's a service I don't know if you guys have seen this called Plex. There's like an app called Plex that's on at least on PlayStation, and you can go in there and type in a movie, and it'll basically tell you. Every streaming service that has it has the movie, and you know if you can rent it, buy it, or if it's free. So we've been using that anytime we're like thinking about a random weird movie, because then you don't have to go into every service and check it out. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, Um, they probably have Google. Google Google does that now too. If you hit like watch it, and and, and it gives you a drop down of any Mm -hmm. other movie that has it. I use, I've, I've, I've used Plex oh, before. Good. I like Plex. I like well, the I use, uh, I use an app called Ye- uh, Yidio. Yidio? Yeah, Y-I-D-I-O. I, I literally, that's how I track every TV show and movie mm. that I want to watch. I put it on here, but it, it tells me where it's available to watch as well. Oh, nice. Which, oh, that's cool. cool. Okay. I'll check them too. Yeah. So, um, but I think your best bet's probably going to be eBay. <laughs> I was going to say, you could probably get a one off eBay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because Amazon has one for like fifty dollars, oh, and I'm oh, like, no, I don't want to see it that badly. Spice I'll, World. I'll, I'll tell you, I will tell you a movie yeah. that uh, if you can find it, I will that I will give you all the credit in the world because I watched it one time because it was like one of those midnight uh, Cinemax type mm-hmm. movies, and I mm-hmm. tried to find it, and it was the most incredibly hard thing to find. It's called t- uh, Thursday with Thomas Jane. Hmm. Thursday. Like I remember when I tried to buy the DVD on Amazon, it was like two hundred dollars. Oh my wow. god! Yeah. And it's not that it was like a That's great, crazy. amazing, wonderful. It was just it was very low print. Like they they just didn't make a lot of copies. But it was Thursday mm-hmm. with my with uh, Thomas Jane. Oh, I haven't even yeah, heard there's, of it. There's a movie called. Um, Together, it was made on MTV. It was about a fake boy band. And I have tried to find the DVD. <laughs> oh my God. Here. I, I watched a movie. I, I watched a music video like two weeks ago. It's so good. You plus me equals, <laughs> no, you plus me equals us or something like that. <laughs> what? Yes, I remember that. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh and my god. Like the movie, it's like seventy dollars or higher everywhere. Wow. Like I can't find it for cheaper than that. I have it on VHS, but we haven't put it in my VHS player. No. But oh my god. It's annoying. It's so annoying to try and find <laughs> this movie. I've looked so many times. Such a good movie. That's yeah, we live in a weird time of so many different formats of things and I know. keeping track of them is hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if we do this again, we can like send tip treats or something. I don't know. Something across into shipping. It'd probably be about the same price, honestly. No, it's actually I'm so I'm <laughs> If I can, if I could yeah. find the, if I could find the DVD version of that movie I just told you about, I will. I'm down to do this again <laughs> and send the, send that one movie over to you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be down for that. <laughs> so. I have a DVD player. <laughs> well, I will get one. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. look for, I want to look for a VHS player or no, actually, I want to, I want to see if I can find a VHS TV combo. Or DVD VHS, yeah, like, well, something like that. So I can always have it in the background, so I could always play any movie. Just always have something I can play it on. <laughs> Check a Goodwill; they have those at Goodwill oh, yeah. sometimes, and they're yeah, yeah. Oh, the next movie should be a, a thrift a thrift store find. Ooh, you, could, oh, you, could, yeah. you, you could find some idea. gems. Yeah. <laughs> you could find some good gems in there. Oh my gosh! Absolutely, I'm a huge thrifter. I'll take a look, see what I find. Yes, yes, same <laughs> here. I like that idea. Love it. Awesome. Well, all right, guys. Uh, this has been so much fun. All right, guys. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Right. Yeah, have Bye a great everyone. rest of your weekend, everybody. We'll Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Happy holidays. You too. you too. This episode was produced by Two Chicks Talking Flicks. Music was produced by Michael Girvani. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to be a part of the show, have a movie suggestion, or just want to give us some love, you can email us at twochickstalkingflicks at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Toodles.